super hyped, super prepped, and we are underway. Joseph Nagata will take a knee in the end zone for the touchback. He said they want to get back to running the football here today. That's Amari Rodgers in motion. They come out throwing. Lawrence will take a deep shot down the sideline for T. Higgins, and it's caught. So all that, we're going to get back to running the football, come out with a big pass play. First down and 10. Pitch to Travis Etienne. He's going to throw the football. Etienne throws. Up for grabs and Justin Ross hauls it in. On the ground. Etienne inside the 10. Finally stopped at about the six-yard line. Two tight ends for Clemson on third and one. Etienne won't get there. It's a loss on the play. Big stop by Corey Durden. Fourth and one. Lawrence will pitch to Etienne. He's going to get there. Standing up for the touchdown. That'll go down on the books. The touchdown pass the bottom line. Clemson strikes first. The option, they're going to have Gaynor. He's going to come up the field. And as soon as he does, that's when the pitch happens. Great read for Lawrence. Perfectly executed. They pull since been up to snuff. Flag flies. Blackman. Pass is complete. Amazing to get it in to Tamari and Terry for Florida State now. Four minutes in. Blackman able to complete. They have been aggressive from the jump. Trevor Lawrence to throw. Gets it out to Amari Rogers trying to make people miss. Out to the 20-yard line. Wrestled down and a flag comes in. Said Trevor Wilson, just another quarterback. Another quarterback I want to take his head off of. Well, let's see. Chasing Lawrence down now. And that pass goes incomplete. Corey Durden had the pressure on Lawrence. They have a heavy dose today up front. Third down and eight. Some pressure. Blackman hit as he throws. Too high for Terry. James Skalski. 17 left for a one-point win at North Carolina. Kendrick runs up. The fair catch up to the 35. Once was a co-favorite with Tua to win the Heisman this season. He's now at 50 to 1. Here's Travis Etienne. He has first down yardage. Sweeney. Dixon in the backfield. Lawrence fakes to him and completes to DeAndre Overton. He has the first down. Needed five, got eight. Working on Fagan there. First down for the Tigers. A little bit of pressure picked up nicely. Justin Ross out of the first down for the Clemson Tigers. I need to continue at a great year. Six defensive backs. Florida State blitzes and Clemson runs into that blitz with ETN. Down to the 10-yard line. That's a game of 12. They've done just that. We talked about not trying to run to the strength of Florida State's defense in the middle. They're going to run to the outside. That's the stretch play. Exactly what Tony Elliott and Jeff Scott told us in the meetings they wanted to do was get ETN. Ninth play. Florida State just ran a player off late. Lawrence going to keep this one. Has blockers. Leaves for the goal line. And in. Late signal. Touchdown. Clemson. against North Carolina. They had four three and outs. They failed to score an eight of 11 drives in that game. And if this touchdown stands, that'll be two scores in three drives here early on in the first quarter. And, and a great response. This is clearly a touchdown. A great response for, for Clemson after the bye week, listening to everybody tell them how bad they are and that they shouldn't be in this conversation, right? And for, for Trevor Lawrence, come out and, and he started this game perfect. Hasn't done his play behind an offensive line like this because at Wisconsin, you had a great offensive line. That would lead to that 26-6 record as a starting quarterback. Pitch to Trey McKitty, the tight end. And he's got a first down. Assistant coach, very similar offense to what he did at Baylor. Here's Hornibrook. Won't get back to the line of scrimmage. He's dragged down by Tyler Davis. Second and 11. Hornibrook. Intercepted. Picked off by Tanner News. 
quarterback in one of his first throws, wildly behind an open wide receiver. That could have been a conversion, but instead it's an interception by Muse. Positive, yes. Got it. Does that count as a completion? You get the catch and the completion? Absolutely. Second and ten. Here's Lawrence rolling to his left. And he'll just tuck it, make some people miss. Get the first down across midfield. No question about his health, and this is what he does. He extends plays. It's so dangerous with his arm, but he can also run. Four to snap it. Lawrence on the ground of Dixon. Stays on his feet. Lynn J. Dixon for nine yards. Find out about Lynn J. Dixon. We know ETN took a shot earlier in this game, and it looks like... Dabo getting his message across to Cervenka. He's out of the game. John Simpson has come in and replaced him for now. Here's ETN on third down and one. He, too, will stay on his feet. And gain of 11 for the first down. It's out there, right, Todd, and you're sitting there watching from the corner. Here's Lawrence. And the team's not just out there, right? Your team's getting beaten up. Here's some pressure picked up nicely by Clemson. Middle of the end zone caught. Justin Ross has that one. Touchdown, Tigers. That's with Tony Elliott, their offensive coordinator, about Travis Etienne and how last week he got beat badly in pass protection against North Carolina. This time, he steps in there, picks up the blitz. Way to make a comeback. This has been a great start for you. So ETN responding, and it's not going unnoticed. On third down and one, barely getting back to the line of scrimmage is Laburn. Jordan Williams comes up to make the tackle. He'll get it away. Darian Kendrick will call for the fair catch. Calling his 501st. FSU game here today. And one of the nicest guys in the business. Here's Dixon cutting it back. MJ Dixon able to get the 16 yards. So Gene came for a quarter of football. Way to Got the start. Him. Way to put him on blast. <laughs> Good job, Gene. Hey, all about transparency here. <laughs> Here's Trevor Lawrence. Nice pass. Terrific catch. Joseph and got it. And on the move, Trevor Lawrence with that big stride and that big arm. It's been accurate in this football game. How unfair is that? Clemson's going to recruit California, too? <laughs> that seems unfair to the other people. Across the middle, cut Amari Rogers. You get him the time. Watch his eyes. Go from one side of the field. He checks one receiver. Comes right off right there. Finds Rogers over the middle of the field. And Rogers with a miraculous recovery off that ACL in the spring. Second and three. Darian Rencher has checked in. One clap. Lawrence to throw. Zips one in there. It is caught. Justin Ross, another touchdown for the Tigers. And Rogers runs the inside slant right here. He's not there. Watch Trevor Lawrence go from inside slant, not there to outside slant. He's saying to Cam Akers, next drive, you need to fight back and make a statement. I'm looking at you to make it right. And Courtney Brook was warming up, but Kendall Brown saw Blackman yelling and told him to go on. Runner behind this, this line. And the loss exposes the offensive line even further. Now on third and 15, they're really stressed. And Blackman, under pressure. We'll just throw that one away. Be able to compete. Fourth punt from Tommy Martin. It's a short one, but it does take a Florida State bounce. Picked up by Darian Kendrick, and he runs out at the 45. Carolina scores that two-point conversion. That could have taken Clemson right out of the mix for good this season. Here's Lawrence, under some pressure. Able to escape and throw, and it's intercepted. The first thing to go the way of the Seminoles. The interception. Way. You know, throw it way out of bounds. Nazrul Dean, you see that left foot goes out of bounds. He has to reestablish himself in bounds, which he does with two feet. Did he control that ball to the ground? <laughs> he certainly got the feet in. There's the one toe. Now, does he control this ball to the ground? The ball hits the ground, which it can do as long as he can maintain control. I think that's a good play by Nazrul Dean. And a poor decision. From Lawrence, did Lawrence step out of bounds? No, he didn't. He stayed in bounds. One of the best defensive player in Isaiah Sanders. Here's Honeybrook on 
third and 18. Hit, and the ball bounces out of bounds. It's a great trio. Professionally speaking, no question. Dumping it off to J.C. Chalk. In the run game, to be on the end of line of scrimmage, as you see him here now, where he can run past pa uh, patterns and also block. Here's Lawrence. With a clean pocket, runs to the right, throws to his left. Mario Rogers bouncing off some people. Got to get right off on the offensive side. They've got to get Trevor going. That's exactly what's happening today. Draw play. ETN spins down to the 10-yard line. How this game is played. Harlan Barnett in his second year after the previous 11 at Michigan State. It's Lawrence, the ball carrier, down to the two. Want to come to Clemson, especially defensive players. Here's Amari Rogers off the pitch. And the ball comes out at the one. And recovered by Florida State. Robert Cooper knocked it free. Put on 30 pounds, and he's still so lean. He takes so many hits behind this line. I think he'd prefer you call him wiry. Okay, wiry. <laughs> Treshawn Harrison. A field goal, the better than a goose egg. It's their first first down. It's a 20 minute. Ball is tipped and deflected. Intercepted by Chad Smith. And just like that, they give it back. Here he is right here with all of the guys that have left this program. You're going to have to learn some of these new names. And Jordan Williams has been consistent. He gets a hand up, forces that interception. And Blackman saw Trayshawn Harrison. I was standing right behind him. You could see the passing window that he had. He thought he had an opportunity to throw the ball down the seam. And then the, the batted ball. I mean, it's just nothing's going right for Florida State right now. Including somebody down on the ground for Florida State. Third and ten. Lawrence. Short of the first down. Four, I need to get my kicker some reps here, too. Those reps were a good idea. Yeah. Missed it to the right. So he's not so concerned about the confidence of his kicker today. Guess he can work on it during the week. Well, Labor has the first. <laughs> Find yourself in another one-point game. On third down and one. Blackman lofts one. It is tipped and knocked away. Cam Akers could not haul it in. The perfect play. They get the rubber out. Their best player, Cam Akers, open. And they can't complete it. Punt number six of the afternoon for Tommy Martin. Fair catch. He just needs to trust the offense, and that's what he's done in this game. Trust the, the playmakers around him. Third down and one. ETN runs into a lot of bodies in the second effort. Has just enough. That'll keep the drive alive. Good look into the eyes of Trevor Lawrence. It's ETN staying on his feet, bouncing off people. Keep on running, run out. Travis ETN. Down inside the 30 after a gain of 27. Great block by the center, Sean Pollard. He's just going to pull around here to the outside. Well, they've had some great centers, some great players, Jay Guillermo, Justin Falsinelli, and Sean Pollard has moved from the tackle position. He's played both tackles, right and left, during his career. And a critical component of this Clemson offense is move very smart football player. ETN over 3,000 yards rushing for his career. Here's Amari Rogers. Amari Rogers to the end zone. Touchdown. Amari Rogers untouched. 29 yards for six. All going right. First half and the start of the second half of the second rack Clemson Tigers. 8 and 11 in the ACC. So it's not like. This is uh, a new thing for Florida State, but you're right. They have not been in the situation. Blackman was hit as he throws, and it's up for grabs. Intercepted by Nolan Turner. There is a flag down as Turner is tripped up along the Florida sideline. 100%. A lot of respect for the way he plays the game. Blitz coming. He's got a tough job. You know, Bobby's got a tough one. Fumble. Akers coughed it up. And let's see if Clemson has it. Isaiah Simmons, who's done everything for that Tigers defense today. 
Denzel Johnson knocked it away. And we think Simmons is on top of that ball underneath the pile. Cam Akers finally gets a little bit of running room and he gets into the secondary. And Denzel Johnson comes up and puts a helmet right on the football. Trevor Lawrence might take the rest of the afternoon off, so how to chase Bryce. When Jay Dixon coughs it up, and Florida State recovers, Dennis Briggs for the Seminoles. Brawl, and now Lynn J. Dixon back up a little bit loose with the football. But you, you can't have a good showing. You can't hang in with the number two team in the country. And that's just simply not the case. Forty Brooks sailed that one over Treshawn Harrison. The mistake it was for Kelly Bryant to leave the program because Trevor Lawrence gets hurt. He would have been playing in that game. Bryce will take a shot down the field. TJ Chase, the intended target, the flag comes in. State in the top 150. Just by comparison, they were averaging from 2013 to 2015. 10 players drafted a year. Seems to have gotten the quitters out of the program late last season into this season. Although it's just not showing up on the field here today. Where they are clearly overmatched. That's Dukes in the backfield. Bryce stepping up. And we'll get a couple. The old style of defense, what he felt comfortable with, and that's not what he wanted to do. Fourth and eight, and Clemson's still going for it. With Chase Price. I don't think they got it. Long time now, ever since he got the job here at Clemson. I don't think he's, you know, that's just coach speak. I truly think he believes that, and I think his team believes that. I think I think the one difference this year, guys, and Todd, I'd be interested in your, your perspective on this, too. One loss, George is not out of it. I think that for them to get back, they have to go undefeated. Completely agree. Here's Terry down the sideline. Tamari and Terry to the end zone. And Florida State will not be shut out. 63 yards. And Terry is by far their most explosive playmaker at the receiver spot. This was a slam to the inside. And he beats Sheridan Jones, who's a true freshman. And you see the explosiveness. I haven't had any adversity. I had no idea how the team was going to respond to adversity. And when they were in a tight ball game on the road against Carolina to find a way to win. College football playoff national championship being undefeated. So for them to do it three years in a row would be amazing. To, to that point, though, it, it's not a lifetime achievement award. Clemson is back to the rest of y'all. The Roy bus. Get on the bus, Gus. DJ Matthews. Two won't get there. And Alan, Chris, and Michelle are working right now on that. Gets, they were not expecting to see the third string quarterback for the Steelers on Sunday Night Football against the Chargers. Yeah, Penn State has struggled in some spots. They, they trailed Buffalo at halftime. So, a lot. A lot. A lot. <laughs> I had no idea. Sing us the great to rescue us. Gotta be careful with those lyrics, Molly. Other than the word a lot. Here's Blackman. Rolling on the run. And just too far for Terry. And I still think he's he would be the first overall pick ahead of Tua. You know, everything's about tanking for Tua, the Dolphins, the Redskins, etc. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I, tell you, I, I used to be a pulled pork guy, yeah. which I still love pulled pork. Right. But, uh, you know, McShay, I think last year, McShay stays exactly. crunchy. It's really fine chop, but stays crunchy. That's a key, Levy. I know keys. It gets loose shots if you, if you put it in like three days before. The, they're blowing some people out. Got it. Mm -hmm. They had 111 on the team. <laughs> Can't do it on the road. Can't travel so many. That's good for the ACC street cred. Taking a shot at the end zone. And it is knocked away. Asante Samuel. And this will be a 26-yard field goal attempt.
Southwest will get breast cancer in their lifetime. So this is a great cause that we're giving awareness for. Put some pink on people in October. Be the first ACC program to get there. Well on their way. Here's Blackman. Going to be dropped back for a sack. Two freshmen out of Brentwood, Tennessee. And, you know, we were talking with Dabo Sweeney. And he was telling us he wanted to get these young linebackers more reps. Kane Patterson and, and Balen Spector. They wanted to get them in the game early. And he was encouraging Brent Venables to just put him in the young star on this defense. Third and 13. Blackman still throwing. And complete to P.J. Matthews. Did a good job to go up to get it. Here's Labor. Cutting to the outside. Trying to get to the end zone, and he does get there. Touchdown, Kalen Labor for the score. 40 yards down the sideline from Florida State. Kalen Labor is... Uh, been spelling Cam Akers uh, this season, getting more and more looks, more and more touches in this game in the second half. And you see the speed to finish, albeit against the uh, second team defense for Clemson. Clemson still looking to throw. And instead, Kubachan will run. Uh, but Oklahoma, the win today over Texas. Right, that is significant. If they run the Huge. table in the Big 12, you would see, think that they would have to be in. So, And then Notre Dame is lurking out there, right? With that one loss to Georgia. Now, Georgia losing certainly hurts that. Valley here, Death Valley and Baton. To be able to see two of your sons, sons in uniforms. Of course, Dabo's got a couple of his sons on the team. Not be that dad either, but the Chiefs are playing in a really big flag football game. What's their record? Morning. <laughs> We're up to four and one. We bounce back from that tough loss. And James Blackman's still in there. Caught and dropped. Things to figure out. Defensively, they've changed schemes, and that's a difficult thing. And then offensively, I don't know that they have uh, you know, the horses up front really be consistent. Clemson's not done yet. Down to the six-yard line. I just wonder where the mental state, positive momentum going. Zeros on the clock. And this game was over shortly after the singing of the national anthem. Clemson wins 45-14.